Hello everyone. This video will demonstrate how to create a basic XML file using Microsoft's XML Notepad software. For this example, we're going to create an example of how to store address information in XML. To do this, we're just going to create a very basic structure with address as the root or parent node and then child nodes for things such as street, city, state, and zip. To demonstrate this, we are now in a blank instance of XML Notepad. So I'm going to click File, New, and what it does in this case is create a fresh instance of an XML file. So my next action is to right click under Tree View, choose Element Before, and now I can type Address, keeping in mind that when I create my XML elements, the case sensitivity could come and play later when I reference this XML from somewhere like JavaScript or a web server technology. So I want to be mindful of the fact that I'm making this an uppercase first letter in the name. The next thing I'm going to do is declare child nodes in my XML for everything that describes an address. The first thing could be something that will refer it back to a person who lives at that address. So I'm going to go to element child and I'm just going to put a simple node for person. In a real system this might be something more like last name, middle name first or person ID from a database table. We're not getting that complicated right now. Now one thing to keep in mind with XML too is that there are only so certain characters you can use in the name of a node. For example, you can't use a space. So if I were to right click address and choose element child and type street space 1 and hit enter, XML Notepad is going to tell me that that's not allowed. I can't put a single space character, which has a hex value of 0x20. So now what I have to do is hit OK and go in and revise my street 1. I could simply type it this way, or I could put an underbar character, and that's acceptable. But what we'll do, for simplicity's sake, is just type street 1, all is one word. From there, it's just a matter of adding the other elements. So we'll type street 2, and then we'll put city, state, and zip. And I now have the structure of my XML. From here, I'm actually going to enter some sample data so that I can produce XML that would demonstrate how this would look in a real situation. So now that I've created my child nodes, I can click one, click in the right panel, and type a name. So we'll call this test a person. And you notice I can enter spaces because that's just character data within that node. And we'll show you the actual XML output in just a minute. Under street, I'm going to put one XML lane. Street 2, I'm going to leave blank. City, I'll call it XMLville. And the state, we'll make it Utah. And the zip code, we'll just make up. Now what you'll notice here is that there are no validation rules in place. So I can put all sorts of things in that field. I don't even have to put numbers. What I would have to do to implement such controls in the XML is create a file called an XSD file or a schema file. And there I would be able to implement more control over required values, data types, that sort of thing. But for now we just have our file. So I'll click the save button. And what I'll do is I will call this address XML and save. Now that we've created our XML using Microsoft's XML Notepad software, I've closed that tool, instead opening Windows Notepad, where you can see the resulting XML that was automatically created for us. And as we described before, the address node is the parent node, followed by child nodes for person and the street, city, state, and zip. One thing to take note of is street 2, being a node where we did not enter a value, simply has a closing slash at the end of the single 